The filter buffer does three things. First, the six subsonic filters remove non-musical and mechanical noise from the output of a 13-pin Roland guitar synth controller to improve synthesizer tracking and cause a modeling. Second, the filter buffer provides two auxiliary inputs to enable non-GK equipped guitars or any audio source to access Cosm amp modeling and effects in a rolling guitar synthesizer like the GR55. Finally, the filter buffer adds a master effects loop for both the two auxiliary inputs and the normal guitar output from the Roland 13-pin guitar synth controller. The basic idea of the filter buffer is not new. For years, Roland included subsonic filtering as a part of the circuit design of the Roland VG8 and VG88. But when the VG99 shipped in 2007, players with piezo systems like goading guitars with the RMC pickups or the GraphTech Ghost system immediately noticed that patches that worked so well with the VG88 were muddy and indistinct on the VG99. Even after a Roland software update, the problem remained. Richard McLeish, founder of RMC Pickup Company, developed a replacement electronics board specifically for the VG99, the V9SF. Similarly, when the GR55 shipped in 2011, Richard McLeish developed an electronics board for the GR55, the RMC OPT-01 Tracking Optimizer. Now, the filter buffer is the first product of its kind offered as an inline device, meaning that it can be used with the Roland GR55 or VG99. The filter buffer follows Richard McLeish's published specifications using six four-pole, minus 24 dB per octave Butterworth subsonic filters operating at 50, 75, and 100 hertz. The Butterworth filter design was chosen for its flat frequency response in the passband range. The filter points were selected to keep musical information but eliminate mechanical noise that can affect both synthesizer tracking and cosm modeling. The filter buffer even benefits Roland GK3 equipped guitars that may be using a tremolo system or players that experience problems with palm muting as this can add unwanted mechanical noise to the divided hex pickup output. To demonstrate the effectiveness of the filter buffer, check out the effects of tapping on the body of a Godin LGX-SA with and without the filter buffer. In addition to the benefits of subsonic filtering, the filter buffer has two auxiliary inputs designed to accommodate the impedance of conventional guitar inputs, but any audio source can be used. Auxiliary inputs one and two are mixed together using an active mixing system and combined with the conventional guitar output from the 13-pin guitar. Before these blended signals are sent to the attached Roland synthesizer, they also pass through a master effects loop. The master effects loop enables a chain of effects pedals to be used with both the 13-pin Roland guitar synth controller and with the auxiliary inputs. In the video clip shown, both a bass and keyboard are used with the filter buffer and a Roland EV5 is used in the effects loop as a master volume control. <laughs> 